Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. IPOB Nande Kano releases fresh evidences on Jubrim Sudan Buhari. Mazi Nande Kano, leader of the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has suggested that the alleged marks on President Muhammad Buhari on Thursday in Harogogo was an attempted citizen arrest on an imposter. According to Kano, what happened in Arogogo during the photo section was an attempt by a young man to arrest an imposter known as Jubrim El Sudan. It will be recalled that Kano has no more on many occasions in the past alleged that Nigerian's president Muhammad Buhari is dead and has been replaced with another person, Jubrim from Sokoto, from Sudan. Speaking on the heels of the rival video in which a man suddenly bumped into a photo session of President Buhari and other delegates and headed straight for the president before he was apprehended by security operative, Kano said it is an evidence that the man identified an imposter and not the president. Taking, Kano also wrote that the attempted citizen arrest by Jubrim of Sudan is a welcome development, and as such, Nigerians should look out for the real Buhari they will not find because he's already dead. And the person now occupying Asorok is Jubrim of Sudan. Well, guys, you've heard what Anandi Kano have said um, that um, the attempted. Uh... Wait, let's go back to the news. Do you know that guy in uh, where Buhari went to attend a festival, and Buhari is saying is a is a is a way to show that security has improved. I don't know how security has improved when you get thoroughly beefed up, you know. That guy, according to him, was only trying to take a photo with the president of the country. Onandi Kano says that is an evidence to show that he is not Nigerian's president. That in fact, the man, the man identified an imposter in Nigeria and wants to, you know, pick it out. But it's amazing that uh, Onadi Kano has been saying these words over and over and over and over again. That Buhari since, remember when Buhari was um, seriously ill and he was away for the, from the country for up to about three months. He left, um, he, he really he, he transferred power to Sibanjo and traveled out of the country. With that time he left the country, the, the, the um, Naira to pound increased and, you know, the country saw some tangible, evident progress, you know, and things began to uh, look up in Nigeria. But after three months, Buhari came back a fresh man, as though it was a newborn, you know, came back a fresh man, looking very well, looking very, very healthy. And you could virtually spot the difference. That was when Unandi Kano started saying, this is not the Buhari, this is not the Buhari that left. Apparently, Buhari has died and it's alleged that he died. And um, in Sudan, there is somebody that looks very much like Buhari. His name is Jubrim. And it's alleged that Jubrim came back instead of Buhari. Of course, Unandi Kano proved with um, evidences when he started his um, words that it was Jubrim of Sokoto that has come to Nigeria and Burun of Sudan, pardon me, that has come to Nigeria, not a uh, not, uh, Buhari. He put pictures of Buhari before he left and Buhari when he came back. I mean, you can literally spot the difference. You know, you could see some marks there. And when Buhari came, there were some strange behavior and attitude. 
people he used to know before he left there was this attempt to you know not to know them the way he started reacting to them and behaving you know it has to be um reminded again that this is this person this is this person you know so these are some of the issues that um you, you know began to point to the fact according to Nandi Kano, this was not buhari that it was um jubrim of sudan that has come to nigeria to rule uh being that the north we scared because of what happened to yaradua remember yaradua and good luck jonathan was the vice president at that time yeah what happened was Yaradua was seriously ill. He went for treatment and did not return. Apparently, he died over there and the country was not told. They still kept it for a few days and then they started deliberating whether they should hand over power to the Speaker of the House, to the Senate President, because they were all Northerners and they didn't want to give the Vice President, who was a South Anand, South South person, the person of good luck, Jonathan, the country to rule because the North felt that they have the automatum of power and it should remain in the North. However, constitutionally, the next in line takes up the leadership position if in case of eventuality, like what happened to Yaradua. And so they deliberated here and there, but they have to follow, follow the constitution, which now makes it fall on good luck, Jonathan. Good luck, Jonathan became the president and was re-elected in, in the first tenor. By the second tenor, he was knocked out by Buhari. So that's how good luck, Jonathan, ever became Nigeria's president. That was the instances. Okay, fast track to Buhari. Buhari himself got into power again and became sick. Ah, this was a serious issue for the North. And according to Nandi Kano, because they don't want history to repeat itself for what happened to Yaradua. They, uh, they, they, they quickly, Buhari died, but they did not tell. According to Nandi Kano, they did not tell because they don't want uh, Osibanjo to take over leadership, just like Lee, um, Good Luck Jonathan took over leadership of the country. And so what they did was that they hatched a plan, a leashed plan, they hatched a plan, and they came up with this, that um, they brought this imposter, who Unandi Kano calls um, Jubrim of Sokoto, Sudan. They brought him in to become the president of Nigeria. And when he came, before Buhari left, there was no issue of Aisha Buhari, you know, ranting out, saying they saw that. There were no issues like that. But when he came back, Unandi Kano started pointing to cracks on the wall. For instance, there was an outburst of the uh, uh, president's wife saying that they don't have pillow talks. You know that they don't have pillow talks anymore uh, as husband and wife you know what husband and wife do not talk you know just have to say state of things whether it's about work about about issues about life about day to day she said they don't have that another matter came up that um, she was being uh, separated and being uh, alienated from some part of Asso Rock, which she it was a viral video then and um, she confirmed that she was the one because they, she was not given access to some parts of Asso Rock. She was being prevented and restricted to some areas of which she raised an alarm. And, you know, that one was another evidence for Nandi Kano. Another one came about when she started saying people have taken over the leadership of Nigeria, that people were the ones giving her husband directives. And we know that the people of uh, Adu Karim and uh, Mongona you know, and she started raising that they were, that we are the men of Nigeria. That was as exact words. We are the men that they've taken over leadership from them. Blah 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 blah. And then they can also pointed to that. That was an evidence to show that you no longer have Buhari there. That was the imposter being directed and led by um, the Northerners who have insisted that they cannot have a Sultan rule and have what happened to Yaradua repeat itself. Again, we had the issue of her, of Mangona and uh, and Abdul Karim, and you know the issue kept on and on and on. And Mangona was accusing Abdul Karim of of directing the affairs of the country. In fact, he alleged that this is Mangona speaking, not on the canon, that this man has even taken leadership from the president and was the one in charge of the presidency and was leading the Nigerian people and that the people should look out. You know, these are some of the allegations that have been put out. But Buhari did not even, you know, allege to bring 
did not have issued a statement to counter that and all that. But what we rather see again is further instructions saying that and they should give uh, Godom a query here and there and issues. So these are some of the things that um, Nandi Kanu is saying, IPOBs. I would like to hear your take on this matter. Uh, please don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. Thanks for listening. God bless. Bye.